Yeah, so um, Script is in a way something very old and something very new at the same time. So it's a federated Chaumian eCache system. So uh, Chaumian eCache is actually something that was described in the 80s uh, in, a, in a paper by Chaum. And um, it is basically the closest thing to cash you can have on a digital, uh, digital platform. Um, it's based on uh, one-time use certificates that are signed um, by a blind signature algorithm, which means that the issuer of such a certificate cannot uh, trace it, cannot follow it. It can only um, check if it exists, uh, if it's valid, basically. And everybody else can do that as well. So you can verify if it's valid. And that means that you have relatively small uh, strings of, of bytes that you can use um, for extremely fast and flexible payment, um, the same as you would use cash. And so that is basically one of the first um, real digital, not currencies, but payment system. It's not a currency, it's a, it's a value transfer system. And the issue with uh, Xiaomi and cash has always been that it's a single issuer system. So it's, it's one party that issues the coins and uh, one car party that can actually um, issue as many coins as they want, nobody would see it. And that is something that has always bugged me. So I, I ran a, a Charmian eCash system um, many, many years ago, uh, backed by gold, uh, was medium successful, um, more a hobby than anything else. And then the one of the things that changed with the widening of the community is that a lot of the previous trust relationships that uh, existed in the how you call it uh, privacy underground or whatever uh, all of the a lot of them didn't scale anymore and with bitcoin they scale and they scale because uh, trust is distributed over many nodes so the idea behind Script is to create uh, a Chaumian eCash system that is distributed over many nodes, where uh, those nodes, which are independently run, have to uh, act in consensus with each other to operate um, the payment system. And that is what Script is. It is a federated, um, distributed, untraceable, extremely fast, extremely cheap, extremely flexible, uh, digital payment system and um, it is one of two projects in the field that uh, I know so it's um, I think I talked about script the first time like three years ago at HCPP and then um, a few people came around and they got inspired so by now there's also Fediment which is a, a very similar system um, uses the, the uh, basic idea when it comes to mint infrastructure, they're using a different um, consensus algorithm and they're focusing a lot on making it a layer two for uh, Bitcoin. Um, and for us, it's more like a research project. Um, it's a little bit in the context of the TAZ, um, which is actually one of the first places we, we imagine doing this and mostly for uh, paying for the toilet that we were about to install um, because you want anonymous shitting, right? So yeah, that is where it comes from. And um, why is it better than Monero or whatever? So I wouldn't really use the term better because that really depends on your use case. Um, something like Script is dramatically fast and cheap. And with dramatically fast and cheap, I mean that even our non-optimized implementations have um, way below one second confirmation times, like final settlements. Um, I can send you money in something like Script and have final settlement with, below one second, and that includes internet latency. Um, so it's dramatically fast. The second thing is dramatically cheap because we don't have to do any proof of work or anything like that. So we're doing a few signatures and we're doing uh, two database operations and that is it. So in, in a way it's relatively cheap to operate. So you can have um, tr transactions costs that are 
in the hundreds and thousands of a cent. So they're basically free. Uh, transactions within script are basically free. And the other thing is that it is truly anonymous and, and untraceable. So um, it is impossible to distinguish um, script payments from each other because the blind signature algorithm behind it basically means that your anonymity set is exactly as long, uh, as big as all transactions that have been signed with the same key, which can be all transactions within a year or within whatever. It can be millions of transactions and you cannot um, deduct anything from it. You cannot deduct um, information like which transaction came before another transaction. Uh, you, you cannot say what's the source of one transaction, what's the destination of a transaction, nothing like that is, is, um, is possible to detect in, in a system like that. Um, what's the status of it? Um, as I said, it's mostly a research project for us. We have um, a working SDK. Uh, we have simulators for it, and we have a full implementation of the protocol. Um, one thing to mention is that um, it's a multi-currency system, so we can uh, support billions and billions and billions of, of currencies in, in one system. And we're currently playing around with ideas of having something like smart contracts for, uh, for script. So that is the current um, research thinking. That is script. I, I got curious, it sounds, kind of like we're both revolutionary and like amazing when you describe it but since i i'm not uh, even close to being as tech savvy as you i just know that there's all, always like a devil's advocate type of side of every, any argument so what are the weak points then of script like what, what, what's the biggest criticisms you've gotten like what are the things that are like in your opinion not as good the weak point compared to cryptocurrencies is um, how much distribution you can get and how expensive distribution is. Um, so if you want a script system that is tuned for being very, very fast, then you cannot distribute it over thousands of nodes, but you have to distribute it over a few dozen nodes. And one could make the argument that that might be less trustworthy. Um, but the I wouldn't make that argument because I don't consider Script as a place where you hold your savings. It's more like you transform um, Bitcoin on chain into Script that you use for um, daily payments, for example. And then when your wallet is empty, you uh, reload it. And if your wallet is too full, you take, it, uh, take some Bitcoin out. And in a way, you have you have your risk profile depending on how much money you're going to spend uh, per per day, or whatever um, period you want. So that is the the argument one could make. So it's 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 wrong to compare it to cryptocurrencies because it's not a currency; it's a payment system. It's a very different thing. So yeah, uh, other devil's advocates parts. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly believe that it's where digital payments should have gone to years ago. Sadly, there were a lot of patents that uh, prevented that. And by now, I actually think that it's not that interesting for, for the mass of people anymore um, because they'll, I don't know, central bank digital currencies plus uh, cryptocurrencies and they'll be happy because in the end, you know, Nobody wants an extreme system like script anyways. Okay.